Hey, happy Saturday, my Geminis. How is everybody doing today? We're going to get started on today's reading, and I hope everyone's feeling good. And let's go. All right, first card up, guys. Uh, some kind of messaging coming in, all right? And the intuitive card. So something's coming in when it comes in, whatever this information is. Um, and this is probably via phone. I get like you're going to get a phone call and you're going to need to use your intuition on this particular call. All right. It is going to involve some good news. You have the page of cups in the middle, but at the same time, something to do with this knight of cups and you feeling left out for some reason. Okay. So I don't know what that's about, but uh, please comment if this is uh, someone who is definitely feeling that reading. Guys, as you know, I, I'm explaining that I do my readings differently than anyone else, I guess. You know, I don't watch other people, but I'm just plugging into the energies that I'm feeling because not all of you go through the same thing every single day, right? So here I'm picking up on somebody. It looks like uh, you want to take a vacation with your partner, perhaps, or you're planning something, but you're looking at your finances, whether or not, you know, you're figuring out together whether or not you're going to be able to do this financially, um, but you're very excited. You're falling in love, and this is something really cool, all right? Um, here I'm picking up on a masculine, uh, this is the King of Cups. Okay. I always rave about the King of Cups because he's awesome. All right. He's just very protective, loving, giving. Um, he puts family first. He makes an excellent father, husband, uh, brother, wh whoever, but I'm seeing, I'm talking to you, <clears throat> the person I just described, the King. Okay. And next to you, I'm seeing a lot of positivity and some good news coming into you, all right? I'm also seeing over here that <clears throat> you're going through some kind of transition and some kind of sadness right now, okay? There's something you're trying to move beyond or move past and get through, and you're not totally there yet. It will help you bring this uh, prosperity in these all these positive things and this good news if you could get yourself in a state of gratefulness okay and guys the more grateful you are on the daily basis the easier it is to manifest in whatever it is that your heart desires all right here i'm seeing this empress okay next to this two of wands so I feel like you're needing to make some kind of decision right now between two things. You're, you're going back and forth. You're feeling stuck about it. And this has something to do partly with um, some kind of uh, something you're tied to. Uh, something you, you, you know, made arrangements to take care of that is no longer maybe serving you and you're feeling alone. Uh, this is like some kind of commitment I get, okay? You're feeling alone and stuck and you just want to break out of that. And you're you're going back and forth right now trying to decide what's, you know, it's not even about what's right anymore. I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. It's about you, your happiness, okay? So maybe, you know, you made this decision at one time and you felt it was right, but it's not right for you to continue if you're not happy. And I'm sure whatever this commitment is, this person will have to understand that your happiness is at stake in, you know, guys, you have to treat yourselves first. You're number one. Put yourselves on the pedestal, all right? Everything that you get as far as your self-assurance, your, con your confidence, your security, doesn't come from anyone else but you, all right? Do not look to other people ever, and, and I don't mean to mix things up, because this, I'm going off, you know, of what I was just talking about with this person's scenario here with commitment, but, you know, kind of anyway, but put, put yourselves first. Don't look to other people to bring in security, happiness, um, because this all has to come from you. Because throughout life, we are going through learning and teaching. This is why we're here, right? This is our purpose. We come back to the planet to learn and teach. And everything has to be within you, okay? If you're looking for, you know, financial security or, you know, love uh, from other people before you even love yourself, 
um, and you don't have any means to, to make yourself feel secure financially, um, you're going to go, you're going to feel over and over again, disappointed in your life because people come and go, right? Uh, husbands come and go, wives come and go. That's just the way it is. Okay. Um, and we don't want that, you know, we don't go into things with that in mind, but it's a fact of life and the security and the serenity and the self, um, assurance comes from you. All right. So work on you first. If you're not there yet, um, if you, if this is ringing a bell for you and you're like, yeah, I'm always looking, I'm one of those people who's always saying, if only this person would do this or say this, then I'll be happy. You'll never be happy if that's your thought process guys, because it must come from within you. And here I'm seeing some kind of sneakiness, things going on in the background that someone's unaware of. Okay. Um, you have the seven of wands here. Seven of Wands, guys, this is your defensive. Um, you you might need to stand up for yourself, all right, because of what's going on with this. I don't know. It, it, the Ace of Swords is getting clarity regarding this, okay? Uh, you might have already started getting clarity on this person who's trying to get away with something or doing something sneaky, um, or it still might be hidden with this Moon card. But if it is, you will be getting clarity on it, all right? And you will, looks like you're going to need to be forceful and stand up for yourself or you're just going to continue to feel stuck, all right? All right, Gemini, let's move forward. We have abundance here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This is awesome, Nine of Pentacles. This is just a lot of money around you. But more than that, there's uh everything you need in this card there's abundance there's the things uh that are material things that you want as well and you are a person who loves animals you love being in nature you like the quiet okay and in in the middle or not in the middle but alongside of you this ace of wands and then next to that this six of pentacles this is somebody's going to give you something a raise something financial is coming into you and i see that you're already abundant but you're going to become more abundant and right now you are living life you're feeling free um you're feeling secure and this ace of wands is just telling you this is just more good news for you everything you're touching is turn turning to gold this is you, all the monies and the abundance flourishing and continuing for you, continuing to come in and flourish and grow. And the more it grows, the more secure and free you become that you and you feel right. So let's keep going, Gemini. I'm seeing you moving into new waters here. OK, you're moving away from something. Uh, at least one of you or some of you are moving away from something. And I'm seeing this Nine of Wands here, guys. Um, the Nine of Wands is, um, you're feeling just fatigued, okay? So I feel like you gave up on something or you're, you're finally getting away from something that was like an uphill battle for you, all right? And you were in this thing for a long time or you feel like it's been forever because it was just so stressful. But now I'm seeing this victory for you here next to this King of Wands. So I don't know if this is somebody new that's just come into your life. That's going to be a victory. In other words, going to be someone very important to you. I don't know if this is uh, romantic yet. Uh, we'll see if something else comes up. But um no, I'm seeing this Queen of Swords here. This is a, a very no-nonsense kind of feminine who's also giving and nurturing and loving at the same time. All right. It looks like uh, you've been spending a lot of time by yourself. And I just felt like you recently met this King of Pentacles and he knocked your socks off. Okay. <laughs> you saw stars when you uh, met this King of Pentacles. You've been thinking about him ever since. And he is like one big daydream for you. All right. But you're juggling yourself right now. Um, not juggling yourself, but you're going back and forth with your emotions because you're already uh, with someone else. And it's like, 
this this person hit you so hard uh has you so starry eyed that you're you can't forget about them you're constantly thinking about them and you're just like what am i going to do this is crazy what am i going to do i never felt like this before all right so you're going through that um and here i'm seeing guys you are moving into new waters okay the place that you're moving away from uh or i should say into is is going to be very balancing for you it's going to be a justice and for a lot of you, I feel like you're gaining strength and you're moving toward your happiness. Like you've had it. You're not putting up with, you know, being semi happy or putting up with people or staying in a situation just because, or because, you know, this excuse, that excuse. I, I see that you're putting your foot down, putting yourself first. All right. Becoming your own justice by moving away things that from things that don't serve you anymore uh your happiness this is balancing things out you're feeling totally different now you're feeling a sigh of relief you're feeling very happy and you're experiencing joy and this is everything that you want is going to come to fruition for you shortly something either it's big it just feels big so whatever you've been wanting is going to uh, happen for you. It's going to come to fruition as long as you stay strong. Okay. So they're saying like, just stay strong, Gemini, and keep moving in a positive direction. Distance yourself from the negativity. Okay. And this includes people, places, and things. Here I'm seeing this Queen of Wands. All right. Queen of Wands here. Um, you're very strong, passionate. This is someone who's funny, but confident at the same time, which makes you extremely attractive. You're optimistic. You're a multitasker, a good one at that. Okay. Uh, people find you very attractive. You have so many good qualities and so many qualities that people wish they had that they can't help but admire you. Okay. And you know, uh, masculines find you extremely attractive. Did you know this? Do you, do you feel this? Are you constantly getting, uh, male attention? Okay. Um, well, right now it looks like you are, uh, sitting on the fence with something or trying to make a decision. Um, Yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of stress involved with this. Okay. Um, you're feeling totally stressed out and confused about something I might add. Okay. Um, and like I said, this might be like a heavy duty decision that you're making. Um, spirit is saying the outcome of this, not to worry. The outcome is going to be, you're going to be so happy with the outcome. Okay. So don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. You're going to do fine. You're going to make a good decision. Just, just know that the faster you make the decision, the faster you're going to feel relief. Okay. I have a knight of pentacles here. This is good news, Gemini. All right. This is something good, uh, coming your way, moving toward you. But in the center, I'm seeing this broken heart and a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety. Okay. Um, over this knight of wands, I want to say. So somebody is thinking about this knight right now. There's a lot of worry, concern, anxiety. Um, I don't know. I, I'm seeing good news coming in. All right. So I feel like all of this worry and anxiety is for nothing. All right. That um, you're going to get some positive news regarding this knight that you've been incessantly thinking about and worrying about. Okay. It could be a son. All right, here I'm seeing this Ace of Pentacles, guys. This is um, good news. It's wealth. It's prosperity. Um, doors opening for you. Just nothing but positivity here. And it's big. It's a lot of positivity. Next to this card, you have the Eight of Pentacles, which is you having this great work ethic and working hard, working diligently. And here I'm seeing your hard work is going to pay off. Not only that, 
but I'm seeing two different streams of income coming for you. One of them is your position that you have right now, your job, your career. I'm also seeing another type of income coming in that's going to be totally unexpected all right you have this five of wands here along with the seven of swords okay um five of wands guys this is a uh, conflict fighting uh maybe some aggression disagreeing okay and next to it you have this uh, deceit card okay so I feel like somebody is being aggressive toward you and trying to deceive you regarding something to do with your money, okay? So please be aware of this. Uh, you know, keep one eye open here, all right, Gemini? Um, and let's go further and see what else we have, all right? We have the manifestation card, Um All right, so this is for a couple that's going through it right now, all right? You're both you're both ignoring each other. You're both feeling left out in the cold. Um, one of you is an empath, and one of you is very worldly, very mature, and very successful in life, okay? Um, I, I'm seeing this manifestation next to the tower, okay? You guys, this is happening. You could stop this, Okay. Uh, tower moment that's happening between the two of you right now all right I feel like some of this is it has to do with your ego and you know just your your this might also have to do with uh, money right now the money is not as good as it used to be guys don't fight over this this is temporary you know if you normally had a nice relationship don't let the money thing uh, the economy get between you all right this tower moment can indicate a lot of things, but right now I feel like it's avoidable. You can manifest something different in your relationship right now. This is totally up to you. I'm going to end the reading on this note, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the readings. It helps the channel. It helps the messages get out to more Geminis. And have a wonderful weekend.